Welcome back. We are gearing up for the final now of the Drug Aware Margaret River Pro. Courtney Conlog, the current Jeep Ratings leader, taking on Australia's Tyler Wright, their second final against one another in 2016. Tyler getting the jump on Courtney in the first event of the season. 20 and a half minutes to go and Tyler having a look at her first ride here using priority. This wall standing up, drives into this first move. Nice hack, tidy arc. And again, goes to the rail, pushing harder on the tail for the second move. And bashes that lip a third time. So certainly getting the better of Courtney on that opening exchange. Mikey liked it. She's taking direct control of this heat. Great gauge right there. I love how she instantly tried to get down the line because she saw that wave running off in front of her and then she, she picked up with the tempo by cutting back again. So Tyler, again, great reflexes. This wave is very difficult to read and she put the pieces together and a, a rare, nice, clean finish. We've seen some hectic finishes with people kind of scrambling and rolling and falling over the rocks. Her biggest task in the event so far, Courtney. Tyler, she's already had a couple of monumental matchups. There's the lengthy bottom turn to get in front of it, Ron. And after this snap, watch her just take her time. She drops down, and now she sees, okay, this section's gonna stand up for me, and she pumps right back into it. Another snap, but she doesn't, she doesn't use all her energy in that snap because she knows there's gonna be a really nice closing section right here. So I love that she didn't burn all her fuel on one maneuver. She saved it to the end and finished off with her, you know, her best maneuver to finish. So she left a really good taste in the judge's mouth. But more often than not, you're just trying to get your pace right. 17 minutes to go. Glenn Hall would be loving this. Tyler Wright on the hunt for a backup score now. Long cutback. Still has speed to burn on the inside. Let's go with another solid hit. Climbs up on the foam. Things just working out nicely for the Australian at this stage. Great reflexes. Straight away she tucks into the barrel. Easily she could have got confused and bottom turned around that. Instead, she tucked right in for a pretty nice little pit. Good lengthy cutback to get herself right back in the thick of things. Nice snap and a bonus off the lip to finish. Perfectly timed wave there for, for Tyler. From Tyler through the rounds, low heat score totals, then backing up with the best heat score total of the event. Oh, well, I'm going to have to agree. I mean, Ronnie, she has had, had to do savage battles throughout the rounds. I mean, it hasn't been just her own way, I think. Has been fierce, but uh, she has just put away a huge number, a 9.6. So Courtney now, she has a 15-minute heat to serve here. She gets her first crack at a decent wall, but this one's going to taper off. And she is still going to be comboed after that ride, and priority is going to go back to Tyler. Wow, and that wave did not pan out. Another one for Tyler. She's going to drive up into this first big section. Can afford to throw some high-risk surfing now. First turn was strong. Just surviving some lumpy water there. And now on the attack. Does she bother with this section? She does. Belts it again. It's still going. Winding through a nice carve. Starting to get shallow on the inside. She might really just want to really hold on to that priority and uh, just make trouble for Courtney, not hand her oh. any perfect waves. First time was pretty strong on the replay. It was, and you know, every time she's on the outside, she just paddles back out. She's in perfect rhythm with a beautiful wave. Her last maneuvers though were all just cut a little short. That's why I'm not sure it's gonna go break into the nine point range. Once again, as we see live action, Courtney trying to get back in this heat. And she's looking to set up the barrel, getting some cover here and finding the exit. She really needs to add some big points on the inside though. The steep section coming her way and she drives into it. A tidy little belt. How's it gonna to compare to Tyler Wright's 9.6 Ross Williams? That may be just enough to break the combination here we go, live action. Tyler out the back, and she is looking really confident now. Big carve to get started. Again, just lays that board over and pushes hard into the deck of that board. Looking to improve on an 8.93. She's also throwing away an 8.27 already. For Courtney, it seems like she's been in great rhythm with uh, you know the waves on fire, and that's her 
That's why she's had such huge totals. Tyler, you know, I'm not even sure she didn't get rid of her 8.93 here. This way was such a dream. So she's continuing that perfect rhythm. Every time it's her turn to, you know, utilize her priority, she's right there with a magical wave. So that was a, a, a great wave for her. That's going to be another massive score. It may better her 8.93. Great cover up for Courtney. And this is where the wave got just a little lumpy, so she had to weave and bob back and forth just to cut back. No real huge points in that turn. And then solid right there, but she definitely didn't rip into that turn. The Jeep ratings leader. Going after the win, she drops into a beautiful wall, drives off the bottom. First hack is beautiful. A lot of power, a lot of water displaced. Second turn, just a little flat, needs a huge finish. One of the biggest turns of the event to convert this into an excellent score. And just gets a little caught up and goes down. And the onside announcer is counting the final down. And Co Courtney will know that's not enough. Nine CT victories for Tyler now, Ross. She's on fire. She is on fire, and what a, you can't help but to feel really emotional too when you tie in the whole family aspect. You know, at home right now, Owen's feeling so psyched for Tyler, and I tell you what, she absolutely ripped that final. That was so impressive. There's not much of Micro, but he's strong. <laughs> He'll deal with the uh, the stair challenge. And there's the emotion from Tyler Wright, 22 years of age, a six-year on the championship tour.